1975, a Saturn rocket will launch the final Apollo spacecraft on a flight that may well be mankind's most significant step forward. The Apollo launch will follow, by some seven and one half hours, the launch of a Soyuz spacecraft from the Soviet Union. The flight plan will call for the rendezvous and docking of these two manned spacecraft in Earth orbit, some 230 kilometers in space. This artist's concept shows the two spacecraft preparing to dock in space. The Apollo spacecraft carries a docking module. For two days, as the three American and two Russian spacemen circle the Earth together, space will be confirmed as a field of cooperative effort without man-made barriers or boundaries. The Apollo spacecraft is being prepared now for this historic mission. Primary crew members are astronaut Tom Stafford, Deke Slayton, and Vance Brand. The United States is also building the docking module, a pressure chamber with one end designed to accommodate the Soyuz docking mechanism and the other compatible with Apollo. Crews of our astronauts, engineers, and technicians have journeyed to Moscow to discuss flight plans and hardware with the Soviets. And Soviet cosmonauts and technical personnel have visited NASA centers and contractor facilities in this country, discussing details of the forthcoming flight. Both astronauts and cosmonauts are learning to speak the other's language, since the crews will visit each other's spacecraft in space. Rockwell International Space Division assembled a full-scale Apollo spacecraft and a docking module mock-up for NASA. And at the 1973 Paris Air Show, a Soyuz spacecraft was mated to the module for a joint United States-Soviet display. In 1975, tiny parts of the Soviet Union and of the United States will be locked together high above the Earth. There will be no formal boundaries, no passports required. The five men will experiment together as members of the crew of Spaceship Earth. Another step towards the use of space for the benefit of all mankind.